Biden ally highlights past comments to cast doubt on Trump as defender of Israel a Democratic representative and Marine veteran is calling out former President Donald Trump for remarks made in 2016 when he suggested Israel should foot more of its own defense spending or reimburse the United States for some of its contributions, as he had suggested for several other countries. The lawmaker, a close ally and supporter of President Joe Biden, slammed Trump on Wednesday over the past statements amid the fatal terrorist attacks by Hamas and the war in Israel. Rep. Jake Auchincloss, DMA, who commanded both infantry in Afghanistan and special operations in Panama while serving in the Marines, recalled a 2016 comment from Trump to reporters on Israel's defense spending. During a press conference ahead of his eventual election to the presidency, Trump was asked about his claims that other countries should pay more of their own defense, or even reimburse the U.S.-Israel war. Biden's $6 billion Iran prisoner swap deal under harsh spotlight. Should that same standard apply to Israel? A reporter asked Trump. I think Israel will do that also, yeah. I think Israel will too. There are many countries that can pay, and they can pay big league, he responded. Time equals 400 ms. Greater than recalling the comment on Wednesday, Auchincloss said, Donald Trump campaigned on forcing Israel to pay the United States back for its security assistance. According to a source close to the Biden campaign, it had been hopeful that the attack on one of America's greatest allies would transcend politics altogether and prompt a unified response from U.S. politicians. But the terrorist attacks and subsequent war have become a campaign focal point for those on the 2024 trail many of whom are blaming the president. Auchincloss further pointed back to a 2017 reported leak of classified intelligence by Trump to Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and Russian ambassador to the U.S. Sergei Kislak during a meeting. The intelligence was allegedly from Israel and concerned an Islamic State plot. According to the New York Times, then-President Trump provided details that had the potential to expose Israel as the source as well as the manner of intelligence collection. The publication cited both a current and former U.S. government official. During his first months as president, Trump put an Israeli intelligence official in harm's way by sharing classified Israeli intel with Russia, Auchincloss said. Does Donald Trump agree now with Vivek Ramaswamy and Rand Paul that Congress should eliminate funding? For Israel's self-defense, actions speak louder than words, and MAGA Republicans must answer for their own record, he continued. Trump's campaign did not provide comments regarding the issues raised by the congressman to the Washington Examiner. During his tenure as president, Trump was lauded for his unilateral move of the U.S. Embassy in Israel to its capital of Jerusalem. The action was condemned by countries across the globe and resolutions were introduced among the United Nations body to ask nations to refrain from placing embassies in Israel's capital. Additionally, Trump ordered the drone strike killing of top Iranian commander Qasem Soleimani in 2020, which earned him support. Another hallmark of Trump's policy toward Israel while in office was the Abraham Accords. Trump and his administration were able to broker a historic normalization deal between two U.S. allies in the Middle East. Israel and the United Arab Emirates. The normalization of diplomatic relations between the two countries had not been seen in 49 years. They will exchange embassies and ambassadors, and begin cooperation across the board and on a broad range of areas, including tourism, education, healthcare, trade and security, Trump said at the time. While allies of Biden hit Trump amid Iran-backed Hamas's Israel attacks, the former president believes Biden is at fault. Crooked Joe Biden must take back and freeze the $6 billion right now, before it is too late. How could anyone be so incompetent and stupid? Biden caused this war, and it will only get worse. Trump wrote on Truth Social on Wednesday, referring to a recent prisoner swap deal made with Iran in which the U.S. agreed to unfreeze $6 billion in funds for the country to pay third-party vendors for humanitarian purchases, which can include food and medicine, among other things. Politicians in both parties have begun calling for the U.S. to refreeze the $6 billion following Hamas's attack, given its support from Iran. There have further been reports that Iran was directly involved with the planning of the terrorist attack and gave final approval for it, 
which intensified calls to take back the funds. Trump further claimed that such an attack on Israel would not have taken place during his administration. The attack on Israel never would have happened if I were president. Neither would any of the many other disasters like Ukraine, Russia, loss of energy independence, Afghanistan, inflation, the border disaster, and so much more. MAGA, he wrote Tuesday. Click here to read more from the Washington Examiner following the development of the war in Israel, one of Trump's opponents in the 2024 Republican primary, Governor Ron DeSantis, R. Florida, commented Wednesday on a 2022 dinner Trump had with a prominent white nationalist and anti-Semite, Nick Fuentes. Asked about it by a reporter, DeSantis said, I would not do that. Trump's campaign didn't provide a comment to the Washington Examiner regarding the meal with Yee, the artist formerly known as Kanye West, and Fuentes last year.